What's up guys? My name's Dylan J. Math, and if you're new to this channel, I guess this is like your introduction to how to make a YouTube channel and how to start one in the first place. It all started when one of my viewers messaged me on my Facebook page asking basically some tips on how to start a YouTube channel. So that inspired me to make a video about it. And I'm doing that right now. Right now, I'm just filming on my iPhone 7 Plus. I'm gonna be kind of like telling you each step of like what I do to start out each time I make a video with my current equipment, but I'm also going to tell you like, you don't have to have this equipment to start out. Like, you don't even have to have it to get big on YouTube. You could just have what I'm doing right now. Basically almost no lighting. Uh, I mean, there's some lighting obviously up there and my desk lamp. Uh, so basically that's it right now. But I have more stuff that makes my videos a little more high quality. Phones these days, though, have amazing cameras. This is just like the front-facing camera on the iPhone 7 Plus. The back-facing camera can film up to 4K, which is really cool. So honestly, the only thing you need to start making YouTube videos is access to the internet, some sort of recording device, even if it's on your computer, just use the camera that's on your computer. You can grow an audience as long as you're either yourself or you have a really good like character that you play or something like that, or you're just really passionate about what you're making. Obviously, I haven't gotten huge on YouTube yet. I only have 149 subscribers right now. So uh, don't take my word for how to grow your YouTube channel. This is just kind of how to start it. I started out on an iPod Touch, so basically a mobile device, just like this. Then I slowly started getting better. I finally got an actual video camera, not this specific one. This one is a Canon EOS 70D DSLR camera with a Rode shotgun mic attachment. This is what it sounds like without a mic, just the mic that's on top of the Canon. The mic doesn't actually like come with it. I did get it in like a little bundle, so it did actually come with it, but normally the camera's audio is not that good because it doesn't normally come with a shotgun mic. So I recommend that if you're gonna get like a DSLR camera like that. But the audio is just not as crisp as if you get a microphone. This one right here to be exact, the Blue Yeti USB microphone. And that's what I'm using now that you can hear it on the microphone. It's a little more crispy, ain't it? So as you can see, I'm not very well lit. <laughs> All right, there we go. I have a ring light and I'm gonna show you every piece of equipment. I'm gonna film it on my phone, but yeah, you can see how the quality just completely changes from like one shot to the next when I start doing audio on my mic and introduce a uh, better light source. So basically now I'm going to show you what I use to film currently. And keep this in mind, you might not even ever have to upgrade equipment just based on what you make. But if you do want to upgrade your equipment, don't buy it all at once. That's just going to sink a lot of money and only buy it when you can afford it because I worked many years to get everything that I have right now. Like, none of the money came from YouTube. It just came from like a normal job because I still don't make YouTube videos for a living even though I hope to someday. But now I'm gonna show you the equipment that I use. So let's get to that. Starting with the focal point of any video, the camera. This is a Canon 70D DSLR camera with a Rode shotgun mic. And it's on a tripod I just got for like four bucks on Amazon. It's like a five foot tall tripod, but I have it on this table here. There's my lens cap. And right now I just have like a little makeshift rig for the next thing I'm gonna show you. The Blue Yeti USB microphone. This is a great microphone, especially for the price. This has very clear, crisp audio, and it's only 129 bucks. Came with a stand. This is not part of the stand right here. This is the uh, one of the things I'm gonna show you later in a little bit. It's the case for that. So yeah, we'll see that soon. Now, if you wanna edit videos, you gotta have some sort of either editing app on your phone or some sort of editing program on a computer. 
and you can either have a laptop or a desktop. I have a desktop right now, and that is the iMac. Uh, I forget what year I got it and what actual year it is, like 2016, I think, or 2015 when I got this computer. So yeah. Uh, also, yeah, down there's the keyboard, the wireless keyboard, and there's the mouse. The stupidest design charger port in all any kind of mouse or charging device because look at that if you plug it in you can't even still use it it's kind of bull crap but that's apple sometimes all right next the ring light now i forget i think it's a newer brand ring light now i could have something to diffuse the light but i just decided not to because the videos still look pretty good they look pretty crispy with this light still so next I have something I didn't even buy, but I actually won off of a YouTuber named Matthew Santoro on Twitter. It's these Razer gaming headphones, but they're not just for gaming. They're perfect for editing videos. Look how nice those are. And that's the case actually for them that that thing's on right now. So yeah, I got this and I also have a cheap little... Uh, mic uh, headphone stand for them that actually has USB charger ports here too so you can actually plug it into your computer and maybe even charge some other things so that's actually pretty nifty it was pretty cheap so I didn't even have to buy these I think he said these are some un these are some limited edition headphones that cost like four hundred dollars so thanks Matt you're great so next I'm going to show you what since my computer is it has pretty good speakers, but to get the best sound, I splurged a little on these Bose speakers, both sides here. And down here is the control panel. It's just a little touch thing. You can turn them on and off. You see the little light there? Boop. Just touch it. Turns off. Boop. Back on. And this controls the volume. And let me tell you, the volume on this thing, when this thing is just at one little tick on the volume and this thing is the full way up these things are already really loud so the sound quality is very good with these things and this doesn't necessarily have anything to do with my videos but this is the most recent addition to my little desk area uh google home so yeah that's basically what i use and if you're wondering what i use for editing software and recording software as you could probably see on the screen there when I was using my phone to like capture everything around here, you notice that I actually have like a little thing, a little window up that shows like what's recording on the Canon and that is the EOS Utility 2 that you can just download off of Canon's website to uh, like do a live view shoot so you can remotely shoot from your computer instead of having to go like uh, and have like a tiny little screen from the viewfinder. It's good if you're vlogging, it's easy to do that, but if you're just sitting down at your computer and doing stuff like this, perfect. And it, you can take pictures with it too. So yeah, and as far as audio recording, I use Audacity. Uh, it's good on Macs, it's free, and uh, it gets the job done. And I use Final Cut Pro 10. I think it's 10 or X, I think it's 10. But yeah, I use that. I when I got this computer, I wanted to specifically use it for editing, so I splurged on an editing thing. It was an extra 200 bucks, and you don't need to get like a huge editing software. There's some for free, there's some for $50, there's some for, what, up to probably $600, or like Adobe Premiere, Sony Vegas, stuff like that. I'm not very well versed in the higher quality production editing softwares, but for what I do, this is completely fine, and I don't think I'm really upgrade anything for a while now, because I'm, I'm kind of happy of w with what I have. So in summary, you don't need a lot of stuff to start a YouTube channel. You can work up to this. You don't have to buy everything at once. If you want to, and you can afford it, go ahead and splurge on like a $30,000 red camera. The only people that I know that can afford those cameras are, you know, people who are already making a living off of this site anyway, so. So you're not going to really want to start with not even a DSLR camera unless you are a photographer and you already have one. They, you know, they can record, so that's pretty neat. But the next upgrade that I actually am going to make, 
you'll see sometime soon probably after Christmas when I get some like Christmas money so basically that's it you don't really need much to start a YouTube channel you don't need much for it to be successful so that's it for this video remember to like subscribe if you're new here and comment down below any other tips that you might have for starting a YouTube channel or even growing a YouTube channel because if you know how to grow a YouTube channel you, you tell me please it's <laughs> But if you do want to support my passion of becoming a full-time YouTuber, check out the links below for my Patreon and my merchandise. And I will see you guys next time.